Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, I got a good show for you today. We're going to, this plant Benavides, but I want to get all types of into this. Um, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits comes at you every day, twice a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please follow us on all forms of social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovers. It's very near and dear to our heart. Um, all right, let's get into Plant Benavides. Um, we're we're going to break it down. I'm going to give you my prediction. I'm going to give you my and, and, and I'm gonna preview the fight. First, I want to ask this question. Is this a mega fight? Is this a super fight? It's a non-title fight in, in an era where there's 68 world titles, is my math right? Even more if you count Bridger weight. Even more than that if you count WBA regulars. 68 world titles. This is for none of them. It's also not, it doesn't involve the top guy in the weight class, which is Canelo. It doesn't involve the two best fighters in the weight class, which are uh, Canelo and David Morrell. So it's a fight between the third and fourth best guy in the division. Neither of them who are neither of them are the star of the division. Explain to me clearly how this is a mega fight. It's a good fight. Don't get me wrong. It's an entertaining fight. It's a good fight. This is a, a, it, it's an even fight. It's it's a competitive fight. It's a good contrast in styles. And I'm going to get into all of it. But um, this is not a mega fight. Like this, just no. Like it's just not. It's it's not a glamour division. It's not the best guy in the weight class. It's not the guy. <laughs> it's not even between any of the of the major belts. It's not the biggest star in the division. It's not any of the top two biggest fighters, in, two best fighters in the division. In the division, right? So I mean, it's a, it's it's a good fight. It's a, it's a competitive fight. It's an entertaining fight. It's a fight for the hardcores, but it's not a mega fight. Um, sorry, if I I, if I said rank the top five guys in the weight class, it's number one Canelo. He's undisputed. Number two, David Morrell. Probably the best. He just hasn't proven it yet. Number three, Benavides. Number four. Caleb Plant, right? Like that's not really that's not really debatable. That, that's the top one. Then the fifth we can have a discussion on, right? <laughs> so explain me good how a, a fight between the third and fourth best guy in the weight class is a super fight. Is uh, that's a mega fight? Because I don't follow that at all. I don't. I don't understand that at all. That's foreign to me. Uh, but it's a good fight though, and let's get into the fight. Um, I've gone back and forth on this. I, I picked Benavides. I'm now going to change my pick. I'm going to I'm going to alter my pick. I am going to t- take Caleb Plant uh, to win, and we're going to get to it. So here's what Caleb Plant has to do. Uh, he has to be first a lot, right? He just can't counter. He has to be first. And David Benavides has a bad habit of crossing his feet, right? So it's just a split second delay. Caleb Plant's got to capitalize on that. Okay, he can't just be happy to show up. If you go back and you watch, he looks like he's just happy to be in the Canelo fight. I'm getting my $10 million, right? Like, this is great. I'm going to give a decent account for myself. I'm going to lose, but that's cool. It's kind of the the, the performance, kind of the look of his performance. Um, He's not going to have that here, right? He's got a new trainer. Redman's going to have him ready to go. Um, so he's got to be first. He can't just counter. He's got to be first. And when David Benavides, like I said, he has bad habit of crossing his feet. When he does that, he doesn't shuffle his feet. He crosses them. He's got to let him with his hands go. He's got to have combinations in his face. You know, he's got to start early, and he's got to get out to a lead early, right? Like, 
people say he boxed well with Canelo, but he never really got out to a lead. He's got to get into out to a lead. He's got to be five rounds and he's got to be at 4 1. It's got to be, all right, because Benavides is going to start to break him down. And when he does, he's going to start losing rounds, but he can't lose the fight. He can lose rounds if he gets out to an early lead. Right, he's got a front run. It is so important. If he's down three nothing, he loses the fight. Right, if he's down three one, he loses the fight. If he's down three two, he loses. He's got to have a lead, a substantial lead, uh, at five six rounds in. At the midway point, he's got to be up three points like that. He's got to be. If he's not, Benavides is going to win the later rounds. Okay, so Benavides, we know how Benavides wins the fight. This is not brain surgery. Benavides is quick for a big guy, right? But he's not quicker than Plant. Um, so Plant's got to use the ring, but he's got to have, he's got to be able to stand in with him specifically in the second half of the fight. He's got to pick his spots, right? And, and hang in with them. Um, he's got to tie him up. He's got to clinch. He's got to figure out ways to keep Benavides off of him. Right. And when Benavides gets on the inside, he's got to be able to hold his own a little bit, smother him, tie him up. Right. You can't fight the whole fight. On the inside with Benavides, he's too much of an animal. Um, that, that's basically what Caleb Plant's got to do. He's got to be first. He's got to when, when Benavides crosses his feet, he's got to tattoo him. He's got to light him up. He's got to have combinations in his face. He's got to get out to an early lead, and he's got to nurse that lead. And he can lose rounds later in the fight, but he can't lose the fight, right? Like, if Benavides gets going, you can't do what you do with Canelo. you got to tie him up. you got to smother him, right? Because Benavides will swarm you, and he will destroy you, right? You can't let that happen. What does Benavides got to do? Benavides has got to survive the storm. Benavides just needs to slow him down. That's it. If Benavides can slow him down and get him to fight on the inside, if, ben, if Caleb Plant goes into the fight the way he went into the Canelo fight, he's going to lose again. Right, yeah, he'll probably lose just as spectacularly. And, and Caleb Plant didn't uh, account poorly for himself. I thought he counted well for himself in the Canelo fight. Right, I just think he got a little starstruck. Right, and he was never really fighting to win. He was fighting to look good and survive and take his ten million dollars and go home to his wife. You can say I'm wrong, but at no point did he step on the gas. Say I'm going to win this fight. He got on his back foot. He boxed. He won some rounds. He did okay. He didn't embarrass himself. But he was never fighting to win that fight. He was never fighting like, this is my life on the line. This is this is my legacy. This is my career. He never had that in him. He's going to have that today. He's going to have that on Saturday, I mean. Um, he's got to. Um, I, I think he's got the right trainer. You know, I speak so incredibly highly of Redman. Um And he's going to have to stand in. He can't just win off the back foot. He can't just win with the jab. He's can't just win by countering. He's got to win. He's got he's, he's got to fight to win. He's got to stand in with them. Pick his spots to stand in with them. You can't stand in toe to toe with them for twelve rounds. But we're gonna we're gonna fight. For, we're gonna fight, right? Like there, there's spots. We're gonna fight. I'm gonna I'm gonna land first. I'm gonna land last. And I'm gonna tie you up. But you're gonna land in between, right? And I'm not gonna win the fight on the inside. But I'm not gonna lose it on the inside. If that makes sense. So I I, I think Plant uh, sustains. I, I think he gets up to an early lead. I think he puts rounds in the bank, and I think Benavides comes on strong, but it's just not enough. I'm taking the plant by split decision. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is March 24th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.